Thanks up, Grill. One more time for Richard and all the other comics. Yeah. Yeah. So, the last time I was at this show, uh, one of the comedians, he started his set off with a whole bunch of egg puns. And the crowd that was here, maybe some of you guys, they just ate it all up. <laughs> <laughs> and so I kind of want to do that for, for my set, but in the comedy world, it's frowned upon, you know, to take somebody else's idea and then do that, you know? So I'm not going to do that, you know? I don't want to be an eggs Benedict Arnold. <laughs> I was putting a lot of faith in that one that it was going to start good there. <laughs> Yeah, my name is uh, Colton Ailes, um, and something my dad always told me was, son, never go back on your word. Your word is your bond. Never, ever go back on your word. And I'd be like, dad, you've been divorced three times. <laughs> I don't think you're following your own advice there, Pop. But I am, uh, I am a kid of a divorce, and uh, a lot of kids, when their parents get divorced, you know, they blame themselves for the divorce. Not me. Nope. I blame my sister. <laughs> but I knew, I, I knew my parents were going to get divorced. Uh, it started as a trial separation. So there was a little bit of hope, you know, that they were going to get back together. But then I'd hear my mom on the phone talking to her friends, and she'd say stuff like, Well, everything was fine. He just forgot that after marriage, you're supposed to stop dating. <laughs> oh man, that didn't go well. That didn't, that didn't go well at all. Um, but yeah, they did get divorced, uh, and you know, we moved out of the family house. But I am seeing this thing now where people are getting divorced, and they're keeping the family house. The kids stay there, and now the parents are the ones that are alternating every other weekend, every other week. Yeah, yeah, this is a thing. This is a thing. And uh, I think it's good, you know, they're like, we're doing this, so Hayden, Brayden, and Kane's schedules don't get disrupted. <laughs> These were our decisions. We shouldn't let it affect them. And I think it's fine or whatever, but I do think that those kids are missing out on a valuable life experience. And that's going to your newly divorced dad's bachelor pad. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You get to go to his extended stay hotel room that he's calling his apartment. <laughs> get to watch movies that my mom would never let me watch. Gory action movies because my dad's just in the other room trying to hook up with his new girlfriend who earlier in the day had to sit me down and be like, now remember, this one is not named Stacy. <laughs> Don't mess this up for me. He doesn't care what you eat, you know. I could have pizza rolls for breakfast, pizza rolls for lunch, dinner comes around. What do you think, sir? Bagel bites. <laughs> Switch it up a little bit. The Bagel Bites theme song, it was awesome, you know. Pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. When your dad's a divorcee, you can eat pizza anytime. <laughs> guys. Uh, I don't like cliches. You know, people say things like, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Well, I don't think I could get any more fond of my dad at this point. <laughs> uh, I can't stand backseat drivers. They're always showing off their long arms. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, thank you. Ha ha ha. <laughs> uh, don't poke the bear. Didn't really need one for this. Who was going around just poking bears? <laughs> All right, guys. I've been Colton Ellis. Give it up for your host, Ruth Douglas Jones. You guys have been great.